أعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللائم الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجه I seek Allah's protection from the evils of the cast Satan in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful to all our esteemed and beloved viewers assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu my name is Sheikh Rashid Bakir from Kenya and today being on the 3rd of June we are commemorating the death anniversary of Imam Khomeini. As we all know, Imam Khomeini was born on the 24th of September 1902, and he passed away on the 3rd of June 1989. He was the founder of the Islamic Republic of Iran and the leader of the Islamic Revolution in 1979. Talking about this great personality, a personality that was not only great for the Muslim community, but for the human society at large is not an easy task. However, I will only suffice to mention one of the most beautiful traditions from our Holy Prophet. The Holy Prophet, may the peace of Allah be upon him and his progeny, says, Inna lillahi azza wa jal ibada, laysu bi anbiya'i wala shuhada'i. يَغْبِتُهُمْ أَنْبِيَا وَشُهَدَىٰ عَلَىٰ مَجَلِسِهِمْ وَقُرْبِهِمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ The Holy Prophet says, Allah the Most High has a certain group of worshippers who have neither attained the rank of the prophets nor achieved the level of the martyrs. However, they have such an eminent position to Allah that inspires envy amongst the prophets and the martyrs. Our esteemed viewers, when we say prophets here, we have excluded our last prophet. This is because he enjoys the highest position to Allah and therefore cannot envy any other position. So today I can, with a lot of confidence, say that one of the justifications and relevances of this beautiful tradition is the personality of Imam Khomeini. How is this so? When we look in the course of history, and specifically during the major occultation of our 12th Imam, we the Shiites, we had and we still have a great number of scholars. We have had and we still have a great number of Islamic philosophers, Islamic theologians. The list is endless. However, when we look at the knowledge of all these scholars, none of their knowledge could ever match the comprehensiveness of the knowledge of Imam Khomeini. When talking about this great personality, we can speak about different scopes, his scope of knowledge, his spiritual perfection, his leadership skills, the list is endless. So why am I using some of his attributes as a justification for this beautiful tradition? When we look at the prophets at large, we know that their knowledge is God-given. However, when we look at Imam Khomeini, we are seeing a person that struggled to achieve this great knowledge. When we look at the martyrs, why are they envious of this kind of people? Why are they envious of the personality of Imam Khomeini? We have a tradition that says, the pen of a scholar is better or even greater than the sword of a person who is fighting for the cause of Allah. So, as we are ending our session, we are kindly asking Allah the Most High, out of His love, out of His kindness, out of His knowledge that encompasses each and everything, to raise the rank of Imam Khomeini and to also hasten the reappearance of Imam Zaman alayhi salam. وهذا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى